The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I received this call from Stephen to help me out by marrying me and my bride. Mind you, the wedding is at 5 and he calls me at 12 o'clock. So we should be there, what, 4 or 5 hours? So I was already stressed out. He's freaking out. If I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get in drug trouble. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. One of the things that we teach is that it's so important to stay in touch with people that you love. So LJ had a mission and his mission was to reconnect with his grandmother. He hadn't spoken to her in a couple of years. So we decided to invite her over so that we could just hang out and play some games and eat a nice meal. And what's happening over here? Oh. This is guava pastry and uh, cream mm. cheese. When we finally got to meet her, she is totally adorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ever tried this? Oh, uh, yeah. I love that. And she is awesome. Like, She's the coolest grandma anyone can have. Who knew? We had no idea. She decided to come over and cook my favorite meal. Arroz con candules. And it's a Puerto Rican dish. And LJ's grandma's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Sofrito. Mm -hmm. This is the Spanish garlic, onions, green peppers, different green peppers. You really did bring the whole kitchen. To Puerto Rico twice, we were there for an event, and it was hard to try to get that meal because that's something that's done in more of a family environment. It's not something they do in restaurants. It's more of a traditional plate. Well, you put it in there frozen. It was at a standstill. Mm -hmm. When it starts boiling, you put just enough water to cover it, maybe a little less than that. And then when it starts boiling, you put ice water in it. And again, you're going to shock it. See? Now it's going to cook in that water. But now it's shot. Now it's gonna just stop and then we'll start boiling again. And it cooks from the inside out. See how cooked it is? Ooh. Very soft. So it, it breaks now. It's really good. That's the best yuca. If you don't cook it like this, because sometimes yuca is so hard inside. And then I take this. See? Oh, oh my god. Food was phenomenal. The pasteles and the same rice. Oh, Mr. Oliva. Yeah. No, her. No, Mr. Oliva. <laughs> mm. uh, Look at the size of that pastel. Oh, wow. oh my God. This is the grated, the Spanish vegetables grated. And then you put the meat on the inside and wrap it. The wrapping is... They know how to do this. Ooh. Okay, my dear. Thank you so much. Now I know where LJ gets his cooking skills from. This is actually the typical Christmas dinner for the Puerto Ricans. Mm -hmm. It's the chicken, uh, pigeon peas rice, the pasteles. And we don't really use yuca, but this is added today. So one of my favorite things to do in our free time is to play games. And one of the best things about LJ's grandma is she likes to play games too. Yeah, she's got all the children. Oh, I thought, thought Valerie fell asleep in. No, she's nye. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. You're gonna see a lot more of her now. She's the official boa grandma now. Because she's cool like that. I get invited to do events in some of the craziest places in the world. Some interesting places too. I was invited to do Head Start. Which is the social services division here in Miami-Dade County. Welcome to the closing celebration of this, our 13th annual infantile conference. They were in a workshop for two days and they were really intense and it was a real focus workshop. They were talking about new programs and so forth. And the lady said to me, Bert, you're gonna have your hands tied up on this one. This is gonna be real difficult. Now I do have to tell you that the personal referral came from a dear, dear friend of mine. And I did tell him that if you bomb, then, you know, I'm in trouble. he's cut off. And you don't get paid, by the way, if you bomb. That's fine, I like it that way. <laughs> I said, well, okay, I'll do my best. They had never seen anybody like Bert. Most people haven't. <laughs> Bert is absolutely dynamic when he goes on stage. Once we connected with the audience, it be they became alive. I just need to make sure you guys are open. Today we're going to talk about awareness. 
We're going to talk about conditioning. I'm going to give you some tools that you can actually go home and start using right away. I love to go into a room and change their state and have them do things that they normally wouldn't be doing. Realize that something that simple will change your life. They were able to let go and escape. I need a volunteer. Now, I want you to think about this. This volunteer has to be crazy. Something magical happens to some people that volunteer for a breakthrough sometimes in our events, and this was no exception. Who is that person? Stop it! You ready to do something crazy? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Alright, you're gonna eat fire. Well, pretty much it gave me an opportunity of a lot of things that I've been holding on the inside, trying to move past. I was able to release all of that burden that he was talking about. The lady that ate fire, she was on fire. <laughs> Knowing that I did it and it was over, it's just I was overwhelmed and couldn't do anything but run. <laughs> did it feel good? Were you a little nervous in the beginning? I was. And what happened? But I was determined. Okay, that's the first thing. What else happened? I feel free. You feel free? Yes. Yeah, it's that simple. I'm glad you took those steps to come up here. So you feeling good? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The person that hired us said to me, I had never seen this team like that. That's really one of the main reasons that I do what I do. I still have chills. It, it was amazing. Bert energized a very dead crowd, a very tired crowd. As an administrator, I was a little nervous at first about it, but to see the raw emotion of it was definitely life-changing. And so Bert, I just want to thank you for reminding us of that and present you with a token from our children. Oh, wow. Of the Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe.